morning YouTube friends and family welcome to winter in Maine it's not astronomical winter yet we still have another couple weeks to wait for that but it feels like winter now this is a late fall snow it's nice and dry too I love that kind of snow it's fluffy there's a lot of air between the particles. It's not slushy snowball snow. Soon I won't be able to uh, take wood down to the basement in the wheelbarrow. I'm gonna start using a sled. And it goes a lot slower because you can't carry quite so much in a sled. <sighs> I'm taking an office day. I've just returned a lot of phone messages that have built up and emails and you know, I'm looking at accounts receivable and accounts payable. Those are just fancy words that mean who I owe money and who owes money to me. Uh, I need to make a bank deposit today because the checks are piling up and I haven't been, it's just, you know, I want to focus on the work and doing, you know, the craft of it. But there's all this back office stuff that needs, front office stuff that needs to happen, which is like, you know, bookkeeping and scheduling and, you know, networking and recertification and all this stuff happens in the background. And um, I think that people forget that, you know, especially those that go to work as an employee, you don't have a lot of that to deal with. You know, you're working with somebody else's schedule what a lot of people that work sort of as an employee forget is that somebody else is doing the bookkeeping for them to run the business and somebody else is um, you know doing the scheduling and someone else is doing the advertising and looking for the new job and someone else is you know paying for them to stay current with their job doing certifications and training so uh, I learned that as an employer that man it is it is a, a system that you really have to buy not buy into but in a sense you do you know there's a lot of pay to play sort of stuff that needs to happen uh, and now all that stuff for me has gone away because I don't have employees anymore to provide that for I have to provide for myself so um, while I have a lot of flexibility, I also have a lot of office work that I need to, to catch up on or just do more frequently, but I have not really gelled with that whole uh, end of things yet. It'll work. I'm, I've, I've been doing this for years. It all comes together, but um, it's just the transition right now that I'm still dealing with since coming back from Colorado in uh, at late August. All right. I gotta get to work. A trick I learned from an old friend and stonemason. You always point your wheelbarrow in the direction you wanna go when it's loaded because if you just like wheel in and then have to back out with a full load, that's awkward. Can you hear it? The sound of no sun for two days. All right, I'm off, off on my trip to town. I have all those little chores to do. Duck food, business bank, personal bank, buy some materials for tomorrow's job. Do something else, I have a list someplace. I gotta take the truck though, because my car is almost out of gas and I have to pick up the trailer on my way home. So I'll be driving the truck today.
All right, that was my neighbor I was I was talking to there for uh, I don't know about ten minutes. Man, his son uh, got in some trouble and ended up in a juvenile facility, you know. But he's uh, he's at home now, working off his lawyer bills and trying to get on the straight and narrow on the GED path. So I'm psyched for him. All right, that's one stop. Well, I was in the kitchen. My aunt, she said hi. Milo, be a good boy. Make on it some apple pie. I said, why? Why do I have to make this pie? And my auntie gave me a straight answer. If you don't, I'll gouge out your eyes. Duck food check. Last stop, Lumberyard. Just a buddy that was a, a builder, actually worked for my dad and then went off on his own with another guy. I hadn't seen him for a bunch of years, just reconnected with him. He's working here at the Lumberyard now and it's just so cool. You know, I went to high school with him and I'm glad to be getting back into this carpentry thing because I, you meet and you work with so many wonderful people. Uh, the craftsmen, you know, the, the trades people. They're all real and vibrant and colorful people. So, Dave, welcome back to my life. I'm glad to see you again. Now I'm in the kitchen making an apple pie don't make it I won't have no eyes just like all those other guys my last stop is my next very short one day job doing some air sealing for a customer literally like four minutes away from my house another very local customer then I want to pick up the work trailer and get that back to my house so I can have all my tools at home and go through some stuff Man, she gonna be real angry when she sees the pie surprise. Man, she is a super nice lady and they have, although she was taking a nap, the cutest, cutest little girl. I'm looking forward to this job. It's gonna be pretty straightforward and, uh, you know, it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a good, um, it's gonna show good results. So, hey, tomorrow we're gonna be in an attic. I'm going to be doing some air sealing, some professional air sealing, all right? You see that pie got wings growing right out of the top, and all these wings do is flip, flap, and flop, and no matter how hard I try, I can't get them to stop. Well, I guess my aunt is just gonna have to skip the... I owe you a buck. I owe you a buck. For what? For the lottery. For the... Oh, oh, we should cash that in when we go to a store. Do you want to use the $1 winnings from that lottery ticket to put in your pocket or to buy another lottery ticket? <clears throat> that is always the question. Part two holiday concert tonight, Milo's holiday concert. He's in a jazz band at his high school, so uh, another fun affair to fill the holiday with cheer. I'm starving. You want one? Oh yeah, where'd you get those? Harvest time. What is that? Oh yeah, thanks buddy. Well, I found our way to a holiday concert. At Erskine Academy, Miles and the Jazz Band. Go that way, go around. 
Except for on the step there, just doing a little bit of homework. We had like 40 minutes to kill before the show actually started. Milo has a dress rehearsal. One, two, test one, two, test one, two, test one, two, test one. Universe Erskine Academy in our annual winter concert. This evening we'll be featuring all of our ensembles. We're very happy to have you here with us this evening. Uh, I know we're in for a treat with all of our ensembles, including uh, some festive music. Uh, I would ask please at this time, though, if you would please silence your phones. <coughs>
Thank you.